My name is Jo Chikwi. I'm professor and chairman at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles, and my focus is robotic mitral valve repair. When we talk about the future of mitral valve disease, one of the ways we can see what's coming is to look at what we've accomplished, and in a relatively short time frame, maybe over a decade, we've gone from a safe procedure with generally good repair rates to a remarkably safe procedure. Less than 0.3 of a percent of patients can expect to have a bad outcome with mitral valve surgery today in the United States. Um, that's a remarkable testament to evolution in technology and clinical experience um, and just fantastic team and program experience. In the 20 years that I've been in cardiac surgery, I've seen this night and day transformation in the patient experience from being in the hospital one to two weeks with much larger incisions, needing more pain medication and recovering more slowly to tiny incisions, much less pain, fewer medications, two or three days in the hospital sometimes and much faster recoveries. That's really transformed the patient's experience. For sicker, frailer patients that struggle to get through surgery, even when it's done minimally invasively, transcatheter devices are transformational. This has really allowed us to help patients that previously didn't have an option. And I think that's really the future of the transcatheter field. There are two parts to improving what we do today to take us to where we want to be tomorrow. The first is developing the technology and the innovations that will transform how we repair mitral valves for patients. The second is really understanding which patient is best suited to which approach. And that's where trials, randomised trials and registry studies are absolutely essential because it's not just about developing new treatments, it's about really understanding how well do these work and who are these right for. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit parkvalvesurgery.com.